Second crack has been found tearing apart off the Pacific Northwest, and they're trying to say it's not bad news. Louisiana State University researchers found out the Cascadia subduction zone where the 1D Fuca Plate is, is slowly breaking apart. This area is off the coast of Vancouver Island, right here, Lamont Dolory Earth Observatory, which is part of the Columbia Climate School, identified this off the coast of Vancouver Island in the region of Cascadia, where 1D Fuca Plates are slowly moving. The team has captured a subsurface of the subduction zone tearing itself apart. Just weeks ago, by the Gorda Ridge, there was another tear found on the Cascadia subduction zone. New scientific expeditions are mapping cracks in ships on the seafloor off the west coast and providing evidence that the Cascadia subduction zone ruptures are breaking apart as we speak. So what does these two major tears mean for millions on the West Coast? And what is the current situation right now that we can look at off Vancouver Island? Scientists are saying a massive earthquake is going to hit the Pacific Northwest and it could wipe out the coastline. How would this happen is the bigger question. And that's what we're going to look into as Nanaimo is right on Vancouver Island next to the stress zone where large ruptures have opened up already which could be even disturbed more on the nanaimo trail locals show how a large rupture from an earthquake opened years ago but now they feel that there's been a small shift that's slightly starting to happen a little bit more and this is going to be the area that can tell us exactly how the subduction plates start to move hi friends let's talk about how to know that you might live on the tectonic plates. The tectonic plates are the plates of the earth. Sometimes they separate and you might live in a fault line. Earthquake land. They call this the abyss. I can't actually see the bottom down there and it gives me a little vertigo. So yeah, the world cracked. The new slab tear off Vancouver Island redistribute stress along the Cascadia subduction zone. This could mean smaller or more localized quakes directly under Vancouver Island instead of one massive rupture releasing stress on the Cascadia subduction zone. And here's the shift that Canada, Washington, Oregon, California can see when the subducting slab tears, hot mantle can well upward through the gap. This can increase magma supply to the nearby volcanoes in the Cascade Range and also in the Garibaldi Belt in British Columbia. Just so you can see that, here is the Cascade Range right here. And the most significant ones we're looking at in this zone is the ones we want to be looking for in the next weeks and months. Also, British Columbia. This is where the zone that we're talking about as well. And I find it very interesting that just a month ago, the government of British Columbia said, get ready for volcanic activity. Now we know why they said that. But I need you to notice the date that they said, get prepared for volcanic activity. Because right on Nanus Bay, right next to Nanaimo, where the large rupture I just showed you, a local released a video of something she's never seen happening on the island. I've never seen or heard so much bubbling action in the ocean. This is wild. If the slab tear has opened pathways for heat and fluids, superheated water could be moving with gases along the ocean floor. Okay, so what everybody needs to be looking for, if, you, if you're around bubbling water like this, smell for sulfur smell, discol discolorated bubbles. What she's seeing could strongly suggest 
sub sea floor volcanic hydrothermal activity which is not rare but it usually doesn't happen off the coastline areas like this but with new fracture zones like kind of shifting this could definitely be the case here's what can happen the new stress offshore can cause shallow landslides and sediment collapse on the seafloor now hopefully this is just gases being released that's trapped in the sediment uh, sometimes these get mistaken as a volcanic bubbling however if locals are saying they've never seen this before it kind of sides with the seismic tectonic activity shift that we're seeing and this is why you should just stop right now and just hit that subscribe button because we're going to get all the local information to you all the different situations that's transpiring that people are not even looking at we are a first warning system community for survival now back to the local on nanus bay in british columbia and how this affects the whole west coast she uploaded a second video and she noticed something else starting to happen hey guys it's been three or four days since I filmed that mysterious gurgling in the ocean in the New Spay Moorcraft Park. Back here again and there's no bubbling. This is the same spot. But what I am observing is there's an interesting, almost looks like oil or some kind of residue, both I'd say on the surface, maybe going a little bit mostly on the surface. Now, that's not unusual in the ocean. I've never personally seen it here, but you see that in a lot of marinas, that kind of stuff. Today in particular, there is a lot of bugs. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Actually, now that I look more carefully, it's not bubbling, but there's a lot of surface bubbles. What she just discovered takes us deeper into the scenario at hand. Hydrothermal fluids can carry mineral oils, sulfites, and iron-rich compounds that float to the surface. When they cool, they can leave sheen or greasy film. So this would support the subsea floor volcanic activity that we said earlier. It seems that this is developing near Nanus Bay we need further observations on this situation from uh, people in the comments and maybe of some geothermal experts or come by and see this video. But the timing of this three days after the initial bubbling suggests that the crack opened and more fluid started to come out of it as the bubbling started to happen. So do you know what this means? We just found the tectonic seep zone and this basically in the future tells us that this is an early warning sign that the crust is fracturing deeper offshore and releasing hydrocarbons and volcanic fluids into the bay okay so this is the west coast watch signs that i have listed that i'm about to give to you because all we have is each other through this and this is why as a community, we are very much in hand, giving the warnings out and people are getting these and giving us information so that you can be related to that information. So we're all going to be looking for new ocean bubbling in bays. Let me know also if there's just random fish die offs close to these areas where we've mentioned all these changes is going to happen. Uh, looking for oily sheens in the ocean areas that you've never seen before. We're not saying something that's natural, something you haven't seen before. Uh, sudden changes in the tides or unusual currents not linked to storms uh, because these may mean more gases and fluids are rising to the surface because of that tear off the coast. Um, we're also going to be looking for the quakes and stuff like that. We told you we're looking for a five or from a four. If there is increased steam plumes or you're smelling a gas smell, you need to report that in the comments here right away. We need to get all the information, but get video as well because everybody wants to know because everybody will look through the comments of this video and you'll have an early warning there. But then I'll come out with the video so everybody sees the larger picture. We're also looking for unusual ground heating. So you need to start checking the temperature of your ground. And we're not just saying that you live in the hot state. We're saying check the temperature of the ground and then springs, hot springs, if they're getting way too much heated than normal, 
that's going to be another warning sign that you need to report in as well because we only got each other. And this is going to be very efficient for us to get these signs because I can get us on point with what we need to do. Sudden sinkholes, cracks or slumping near British Columbia, Oregon, uh, Washington. We're already seeing slumping on California coast. We want those zones specifically because that's going to be something efficient to let us know what is going on for the early warning sign to get it out to everybody. And most importantly, we know that the Navy is already getting ready off Puget Sound. But if we see more evacuation drills or something else building up on the West Coast, that's going to be something that I'm going to get to you that I'm going to be watching so that we can see that this is evolving into a bigger crisis behind shut doors. So none of this is about fear. It's totally about awareness and we get all the official information, but we also dive into the eyewitness information. We're empowered together if we continue to do this. And if you didn't see it, you need to go see the West Coast survival alert I gave after the 6.9 in the Philippines. Nobody's giving you this. You need to go listen to this now.